Hey, hey, what up? It's your boy Saint, and yeah, the real Saint Lucid is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful organ crystal pyramid. This is beautiful for generating those psychic abilities. Absolutely amazing. You just put this on your forehead, and it'll really activate that third eye. Absolutely, I just keep it yet to keep the vibes good beautiful blows out this whole place keeps the vibes good we got a beautiful uh, Hikami diamond crystal from Tibet absolutely nice one as well for opening up that third eye you can actually just leave this here let me just leave this here as well while we do this uh, Chris uh, sigil so this will guide us allowing us to make a even more powerful symbol right here okay so we're gonna do this sigil for opening your third eye so how would I do that is I'm always gonna be writing a phrase which is in the now right or which is already taken place so what I'm gonna write is my third I is fully opened okay my third eye is fully opened that is in the now it is done all right so we'll make a sigil out of this this is a bit of a hard one <laughs> this is a long phrase but I wanted to do something tricky today um, then we're gonna take out all the vowels we already know it's um, I O U E so we, we're gonna take out those vowels alright um, let's start off with M bringing it down M here so I'll speed up this one just so this is done and then because you already know how to do this so i'll speed up this part of the video and then from there we can start making the sea jump my third eye is fully opened and we got like 10 letters here and we'll do the usual uh, sigil making method which is we bring down the M we're gonna make this beautiful M here all right beautiful M there we go now when we're doing the sigil one we always trying to keep the intention right you know the story keeping that intention uh, focused on our end goal which is opening the third eye or which is having the third eye open so we can even be uh, doing this and while we're doing this we visualizing ourselves seeing spirits and um, being able to see um, more into the spiritual dimensions uh, having more vivid dreams and stuff like that there um, yeah while you're doing this here so then we can bring down the t and you'll know how i do with that t i like just bring this line down and making that there's that t right there and then we got that h again so you know how i like doing with that h i just bring that line down and we got that h in so we got that t we got that h and we got that um that r coming up and what would what would I do with that R? <laughs> this one's a tricky one, guys. This one's a tricky one because we're trying to make this as simple as possible. We don't want to be going all over the place. Um, sheesh! Guide me, y'all. Guide me, y'all. <laughs> Guide me. How do we do this R, guys? How do we do this R, guys? How do we do this R? Check this out. I'm gonna bring this down. 
I'm gonna bring this down right here. I'm gonna bring this down right here. And guess what we just made? We created an R. Look at that. Look at here. This line, that right there, that right there, that right there has just become an R. <laughs> that's how we do that's how we do so we got that we got all of that done now we got the d coming up we don't even have to do the d because check this out that right there that line and that line down here creates a d so we don't have to do the d so that d is out we don't have to do a y because guess what this line and that line creates a y so the Y is out. We don't have to do an S. This S, we don't have to do it. Because this, that, and that creates an S. All right? Not an S in this form, but an S as in that form. All right? So a backwards S. That's cool with me. That is absolutely cool with me. Um, Jeez. Do we have to do an F? I don't know if we got to do an F. Let's see if we, if we don't have to do an F. I'm gonna do an F. I'm gonna do an F. I'm just gonna bring one line down here. I'm just gonna bring one line down here. I could join that line too. I'm gonna do an F. Because that line and that line and then this line coming down creates an F. So I'll, I'll do an F. I mean, we're not gonna do an L, right? Because there's an L right here. There's an L right there. There's an L going down here. There's an L there. There's an L there. Come on, there's so many L's. Uh, are we gonna do a P? No, we're not gonna do a P either. We're not gonna do a P either because this one that we just created that's an R is and also a D is a P. That and that. It's a P like that. Alright, so we're good with that. N, come on now. I can see an N right here. Can y'all see an N? I can see an N right here. And then we also created the M, right? Which is here. We can that's an N right there. It's, it's a bit of a slanted M, but it's an M anyway. An N anyway. Anyway. Oh, yes, this. Alright, so that's done. Look at this. Look at that. That is beauty right there. There's an if if you guys weren't happy with my S that we made and you're like oh no that that's a bit tricky i mean come on that's a that's a, that's a there's an s right here one two three it, it's a it's a z type of vibes but that's an s that's an s i'm i'm okay with that i'm okay with that but if you want to go in and add an s i'm just saying for you if you want to go in and do an s somewhere you could do one you could do one you could come from somewhere here and then do something like that. I'm going to do an S just for you guys. There you go. That's an S right there. <laughs> Alright. So we just added S. Alright. So when you're making the circle around your around your sigil. You want to be going clockwise. Okay. Because it's something that you want to receive. So clockwise is bringing it to you. Alright. It's bringing it to you. It's bring it to you it's bringing it to you all right so if you want to do it anti-clockwise it's going to be going the opposite direction all right so the arrow is going away from you so anti-clockwise is taking it away from you so if anything like a bad habit or something like that you want to end or some cycle or whatever then you're going to be taking it away from you or even if you're sending it sending this energy to someone else like say you want to create some wealth or you want to do a third eye opening for a service or something like that for someone else then you're going to be sending it to them so you can be sending it away from you to them all right so that's how it'll operate so i'm going to do a clockwise because i want the third eye to be fully open fully functioning on my end all right so i'm going to do that I'm gonna do that. 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 I'm good with drawing circles. <laughs> I'm good at drawing circles. All right, that's a beautiful circle right there. Um, now what I'm gonna do is, and also you could you could um, you could use um the pen or pencil or anything like that and then from there once you're done use a marker all right 
and you could also use a marker according to the color of what you're manifesting like this would probably be a purple or something like that or black works with everything right but if you're doing like a, a certain thing like maybe wealth like a seizure for wealth then you'd use green or something like that use a pencil and then once you're done with that use your marker and then use a rubber to rub off the pencil marks so don't press too hard with the pencil anyway let's 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 let's, let's concretize this one And also when I'm when I'm gonna be doing the circle around I'm trying my best not to lift up my cokey when I'm doing the circle I'm gonna try my best not to lift up the cokey or the marker should I say all right I'm gonna try my best not to lift up the marker when I do my circle so I'm gonna go from here clockwise all the way through until I reach that it's just something that they do in um, hoodoo and you know when you're doing partitions and stuff like that um, you try not to lift up the pin when you're doing the whole partition so uh, or the circle around it so I'm just gonna use that here as well um, so I'm gonna go from there but I won't be able to see because my hands gonna mess me up but I'm gonna do it 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 See, it's, it's so better. It's so much better when you're doing it with a with a pencil. So all the all the lines that are like outside of your marker, you can just rub it off. But I'm doing pretty well here. My third eye is fully opened. Here you go. Let the magic begin. <laughs> Another seizure for the full moon, y'all. Another seizure for the full moon. Here we go. Absolutely beautiful. That's a beautiful seizure right there. You can even add more symbols into it. Um, yeah, but that's a beautiful seizure. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Remember, stay godly. Um, be powerful. Be amazing. And believe in yourself. Believe in your higher self. Believe in your capabilities beyond your physical. Know that you are powerful. Know that you're an aspect of God. Know that nothing limits you unless you limit yourself. It's a beautiful sigil right here. You guys can work with this sigil. Print it out. Uh, light. On, on like a piece of paper very light and then just do a marker over it or you can even print it out like this and just do your marker over it while you are meditating on the desired goal uh, or outcome you know what I mean and you can use these seizures I'm gonna be dropping a seizure like this every month because every month there is a full moon so I'm gonna be dropping one so you can just charge it like print it out charge it and drop it Print it out, charge it, drop it. Print it out, charge it, drop it. If you if you can draw proper, then you don't even have to print it out. You just look at it and redraw it. Redraw it out. Or follow the guidelines on everything that I did and just do it exactly the same way I did it. Or you could change it up and spice it up according to how you want to design it. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can just charge that up. And then drop it every month. So every month you have a sigil going out into the universe. Some energy going out into the universe. Bringing you wealth. Bringing you good luck. Bringing you happiness. Breaking uh, habits you don't, you don't want to have anymore. Cycles you don't want to have anymore. And activating you more and more uh, spiritually and psychically. And that's what, that's what we're on about. That's what we're here for. We're here to grow. And that's what we're doing. So stay godly. Thank you for being here, guys. I uh, will see you on another sigil video next month on the next full moon. All right. And if you catch this anywhere during the month, then keep it for your next full moon. And you can just charge these babies up. Or you can even charge them up now and just keep them. You know, just keep them with you until the full moon and then release. Release them on the full moon because that's when the energy is powerful on the earth and there's a ton of gateways open. So blessings guys, love and light.